Hello everyone, this is Don Larry Pentless. Since I recorded episode 6 of Life of an Inventory Auditor, I thought of a couple of things that I feel I should add to it. When it comes to the RM1, especially early on, there was a lot of bugs in the software anyways. I don't remember much problem with the, the hardware side of things, but they may have been working on that before I returned to the company, to working for the company. Um, but when I first started using that machine, there was a lot of bugs like it would freeze up a lot or just reboot for no reason. It's got, you know, the software patches they put in there have improved the performance so much that you rarely have times where it freezes up or um, reboots on you for no reason. There are some play sometimes it happens, and I'm not sure what causes that exactly. No system or piece of hardware is going to be perfect. And it's going to be the same with the RM2. But like I said in the last part, they are working on these issues. Um, also, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I mean, it would be nice if I was, <laughs> but I'm not. Um, I, this is just one man's opinion about the RM2. So don't take what I say about the RM2 too seriously because this is just from my experience and um, over 15 years of being in inventory. Um, they did a good job at fixing software problems with the RM1 which is why I am somewhat confident that they will be able to fix the problems that they're having with the RM2. Our, um, Regis has a track record like that of continuing to try to stay at the cutting edge of the technology in terms of counting inventory and finding ways to improve the process, simplify it, and give their clients more information than they were before, which is what they really need to do to stay competitive in a market where you have a number of regional inventory companies, which is kind of odd. Here, there doesn't seem to be any other inventory companies in the area that I can see other than Regis and Wiss. But in other parts of the country, they have these fairly large regional companies and even one national that hasn't moved into this area called PICS, um, Files Inventory something. But in order you know, to continue keeping the clients they have, they have to, to you know, improve the, the technology. One of the thoughts I, I had after making that video is a theory more than, than an actual explanation of anything. But when you look at when they came out with the RM1 and now with the RM2, WIS, which is the main competitor, you know, the biggest competitor uh, that RGIS has, I think they probably come out with their wizard machines. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know, really know the timeline of the two companies comparison, in comparison to each other. But their biggest competitor was changing their designs. So that put pressure on RGIS, I think. Like I said, this is just a theory. To um, work on their designs. To change it up. To make them just, not only to keep up with, with WIS, but also to distinguish themselves from WIS or any other company that was out there with their hardware and their, their software to be to show that they are progressing and yada yada yada. And I think that's the case with the RM2 because Wiz had recently recently came up with a, a new design for their wizard um, which was kind of radically altered it I think. And like I said they, a company like Regis 
would feel market market um, pressure to keep up with that technology. Although a lot of the technology that's in the RM2 is in the RM1, the design is unique among all the inventory companies. I mean, it seems it's not well, it seems more compatible with 10 key than the WIS designed machines. So it gives them an advantage that they, you know, you can still do rapid 10 key once you learn how to use this, once you're used to it, to using the keyboard on the RM2. I'm sure everybody who spends time with it will eventually master how to use it. It may require a slightly different technique than you would use with an RM2, I'm sorry, RM1, or with an audit. But I, just the design, just from looking at it, it's not unfeasible that one could do some fairly rapid 10 key with this keyboard. So anyways, like I said, I just thought I want I thought I'd add a little more thoughts to this um, and give some more clarification on things. So remember to like, thumbs up, share this, subscribe to my channel for more of Life of an Inventory Auditor. This is Donald Repentless signing off. Be awesome, everyone.